Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can reset some of those event settings or uh, templates that come with the software when you first install it. Um, sometimes after a little bit of use, some of those default things that, you, that came with it that you really liked, you've messed them up. It happens. I do it all the time. I reset mine all the time because I'm constantly messing things up, trying to figure out issues. But I want to show you how you can get back to a fresh start with your event settings, the, the sample events, and your templates. We'll go ahead and start with replacing the templates. Now, if you've made modifications to your templates, um, we're going to override those modifications. So in this uh, instant, let's say you change the template so much and you want to get back to the original. That's what would happen. It would re place any changes you've made so if you made changes that you want to save save that template as a new file because we're about to replace those so um, you can see in my computer I have four templates right here I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel and I am going to go to our help center there's a little link right here let me scoot this over to this screen okay and um, I just added it, so I'm going to go to recent. But you can do a search for um, reset default template. I have to update that with an S. Uh, reset and default. Um, and we're going to download this link right here. And click download and save. So it's going to go ahead and save to my downloads folder. And um, let's go ahead and I'm going to move that to my desktop just so it's a little easier to see what's going on. OK, so it's, it's a zipped file. So let's scoot that out of the way. We're going to right click and extract all and extract it to the desktop. It'll take just a moment. While that's working, the next thing that we're going to want to do is uh, go to our X drive. So we'll click on, well, I got quite a few things open here. Um, I'm going to go to this PC and then select local disk X. Now yours might say Windows X or a, a slight variation on that. So that's where we want to, this is what we want to replace. So um, what we'll do is look for booth templates. These are our print templates. So if we just wanted to replace the, the print templates, we just drag it in there. If we want to do both the t uh, prints and screens, we just drag both of them in. Now, whenever you drag these in, you want to make sure that you're not hovering over a folder like I am here. You can see that it's highlighted. Let me see if I can make this a little easier to see. So if I do this and I let go of my mouse button, it's going to drop into this folder. I don't want to go into a subfolder. I want to go directly into the X drive. So I'm going to go below the folders where the files are and let go. And it's going to copy over and replace uh, a few files. So we'll go ahead and click replace. Now, when we click on choose, we should have all of the default templates back. So pretty easy. Same thing for the screens. Those have been replaced as well. So you can see that I have also lost my sample events. And those are really helpful in seeing different ways that you can set up uh, different events. So if you're in this situation and you want to replace those, what we're going to do is do the same thing, but in this case, we're going to um, copy over our um, 2014 that dated folder. Let's go ahead and copy it over, and um, if it asks to replace, go ahead and replace it. So it won't automatically pull these events in because we didn't bring over the indexing file, but we can click Control R and it will rebuild the indexing file and there are our um, sample events back. 
So let's say you've really messed everything up inside the photos folder. One more thing you can do, and this is actually what I do most often uh, because I'll have just junk everywhere that uh, I'm testing out. Um, you can go, instead of going to your X drive, we're going to go to where the X drive is stored. And you can always see that by going to application options. If we take this folder path, we could paste it in right here. And that is where our X, what becomes our X drive. So you can see, uh, and I'll show you just uh, so you know, I'm not joking. Uh, that's how often I I replace my photos folder. So um, if you close your software and we'll say photos old, rename that folder. And now if you take one step back in that uh, extracted zip folder and select the photos folder, you just drag it straight in there and it will replace all of your templates, your photos, your packages, all of those are gone and you got a fresh brand new clean start just like you did whenever you first installed the software. Now this doesn't replace your um, uh, email settings and your printer settings. Those are all stored in a different location. But now if we open up Darkroom Booth And I'd already kind of reset everything back to a, a basic setting. But now I don't have to rebuild the catalog. Uh, my templates are all back. Everything as if it was a clean. Because it is. A, it's a clean folder. So in all of these folders, the actual photos that were taken, which wouldn't have happened earlier whenever we replaced those other uh, sample images, uh, you might still see the photos. But this will give you a brand new clean fresh start. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.